Hi, friends. As we're getting ready for this Passover season, I want to talk to the hearts of all of us in our whole global family of faith, of the Abrahamic family. And I want to talk to you today about such an important aspect of the Passover, and that's what we call the Lamb of God. In Hebrew, that's Seya Elohim. In Greek, that's Amnos Theos. And this is such a beautiful thought. Let me read you how John the Baptist, who was really the, the bridging prophet between the Law and the Prophets and, and the Gospels, he said this about Yeshua when he came forth. He said, Hine se ha Elohim anose chatat olam. Behold, here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He lifted it up and took it on himself. What an amazing thing. I just want us to think about that for a moment. The Lamb of God. This idea of the Lamb of God starts all the way back. One of the best places to see it is Abraham going up to offer Isaac. And then he says, well, is this the Lamb? Is it Isaac? It's interesting that in some Jewish tradition, they compare the idea of the binding of Isaac with the temple sacrifices. So we just say put one and one together and you get something else. They're both symbols, both Isaac and the sacrifices of the temple. They're both symbols of the coming of the Messiah. I'm waiting for our people to see this, just to ask this one question. When you talk about a Passover lamb, is it really eating a lamb that's going to give us redemption? Or is the lamb a symbol and it's pointing to something else? The moment you ask that question, you'll say, of course it's pointing to something else. What could it possibly be pointing to? It is the Messiah. And once you ask that question, it's obvious who it is. Who is the Messiah? Who is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world? It's obviously Yeshua, Jesus, the Son of David and the Son of God. Let's think about this just for another moment. It said he is the Lamb of God. I want to tell you something. Let's look at the logic in reverse. Hello, Yeshua, Jesus, is not a lamb. He's a person. What does it mean when we say he's a lamb? We're talking about his character. What does it mean to be a lamb? It means something, it's the most gentle, sensitive, in some ways even helpless creature of all of the animals. And it's saying, God, Yeshua, the Messiah, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, because he loved us so much, was willing to just let go of all of his power and his authority and show us his heart of gentleness and sensitivity. And it's touching into that, even the point that we would kill him. When we realize this, that the Messiah is showing us himself through the Passover and through all the temple sacrifices, that he is so gentle and kind and sensitive, showing us sacrificial love. The moment you see that, your whole life will be changed. And let's just all take a moment in this Passover season and just say, thank you, Yeshua. Thank you, God, that this is your character quality, that you love us so much to be willing to give up power and glory and to show us your heart of love and intimacy. For both Jews and Christians and people around the world to see this, it all comes together. This is the message of Passover, the Messiah, Yeshua. He is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of everyone in the whole earth.